Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we have another agricultural science, CXC agricultural science video for you, and we're picking up right where we left off last time. And so last time we were looking at the ways to classify plants and also explain some of the uses of plants by men. And so today we are going to look, start looking at the actual internal and external structures of the plant so that's this is objective 1.2 in section b we're looking at crop science so anatomy and physiology so we're looking at 1.2 today but we're going to just look at just the roots for today just the roots for today and this is agricultural science for high school and so we are not going to go too in depth with all of this this is not a botany class or anything like that. So we're going to give you just enough for what CXC would have asked for. So that's what we're going to do. Just the surface level. We're not going to do too in depth. And so we are going to use a combination of the textbook and also some slides. And so in the textbook, we start by looking at the plant structure. And as you can see, the plant system, the plant is divided into two systems. We have the root system and the shoot system. And so the, most of the part of the plant, the normal plants that is underground would be the root system and everything above ground would be the shoot system. That's for normal plants. But in some occasions, you'll see where you have roots above ground and shoot below ground. But those are special occasions. But for the average normal plant, you have the shoot system which is above ground and the root system which is everything below. And so the shoot system comprises the buds, the flowers, the leaf, the stem. Of course the fruit when it is bearing and things like that whereas the root system provides of course the root and so we're going to look at the function of the root types of roots and some of the tissues that are found in the root all right so let's go let's just jump into it roots function of the root anchor the plant absorb water and minerals store food propagate or reproduce some plants. So those are some of the major functions of the root. It provides anchorage for the plant, as in keep the plant nice and steady in the ground. It takes up water and nutrients and minerals, and it also stores food in some plants and can be used to propagate or reproduce new plants because some plants they don't have seeds that are viable for planting. So you have to use the root to propagate new plants. The seeds may be too small and so they cannot really be planted. So you're going to use the root to propagate or reproduce those new plants. And of course, some plants use the root to store their food and sometimes we eat some of those in the form of root crops. And then we have, of course, the plant. The root absorbs water and minerals and nutrients from the soil through the process of, process of osmosis. And of course, the major function is to anchor the plant firmly into the soil so these are the major functions of the root system on a given plant and now we're looking at the types of roots so we have about four main types of roots so we have the tap root the fibrous root the adventitious root and the aerial root and so we have the tap root tap root consists of a main or tap root which root with lateral roots growing out to the side like a tomato or a mango so in essence, the tap root, you have a main root coming down and some secondary roots coming off. Then you have the fibrous root, consists of a cluster of roots growing from the base of the stem. Normally you can find this in grass type plants. You have coconut palm, you have corn, and most grass type plants. Most monocots would be fibrous rooted. Then you have what we call the adventitious root. Oh, this, is, this is one of the roots I was saying is in a, in a special case. These adventitious roots, as you can see here, Look at that right here. Have the have the origin in the plant tissue other than the root. So in a sense, they grow anywhere from the plant except for the root system. So they're not they don't really arise from the root system like normal plants in normal in some plants. They come from branch or leaves or anything in the shoot system. So these adventitious roots they come from the shoot system in the plant. They are not inherent to the tissue that they arise from as they originate in tissues that is above ground. So that's the adventitious root. And then you have the aerial root and the aerial root grows above ground. So the aerial root can be, as you can see here, kind of advent, kind of fibrous. You can see it similar to fibrous, but just that it's growing above ground. So those are the four major 
types of roots the tap root the fibrous root adventitious root and the aerial root and so let's look at tap root again you have a plant example right there one main root no nodes continuation of the primary root ideal for anchorage penetration is greater for water storage area for food so most tap rooted plants you have the carrots like for example carrots you would store the food and stuff in those kind of plants and so the tap root has the simple definition is it has a one main root which you see here and then secondary roots coming after and the book gave some examples such as mango tomatoes most die cuts then you have the fibrous roots your real life example right there again most grass types would have a fibrous root system many finely branched secondary roots shallow roots cover a large area more efficient absorption of water and minerals roots hold the soil to prevent erosion so these are some good roots for cover crops so they can hold the soil together because they, they, they fan out and so they hold the soil more together to help them prevent soil erosion whereas the tap roots would go straight down with some little little secondary roots and they're not really too good for soil preventing soil erosion and then we have the exam the life example here that is seen in the book there where you can see the aerial root clinging ear root short roots that grow horizontally from the stem roots that fasten the plant to a support so they fasten the plant to walls or fences or whatever when they are growing above ground absorptive ear roots absorb moisture from the ear so that's how they would end up getting the water that the plant needs in order to survive because they absorb the moisture from the ear that's the aerial root and of course we have the adventitious roots developed in places other than the root nodes examples are rhizomes such as ginger uh, farms on cuttings and rhizomes so those are the types of roots again so four main types of roots the tap root the fibrous root the adventitious root and the aerial root so those are the types of roots now let's look at some other parts of the root so this is how the root would look under a microscope you can see it right here and so we have different parts of the root the root cap is right here all oh, this is the root cap right here that's the tip of the root the root cap and then you have a special area called the apical meristem so a meristem are normally parts that would actually grow those are the parts that would help the the the, the, the stem or the root to grow they, the cells in the meristem they divide and cause the root or the stem to grow in this case we're looking at the root so it causes them to grow and of course up here you have the root hairs now the root hairs are the ones that actually go out and get the water and minerals and nutrients from the soil the root is what really absorbs the water and the minerals and so the root here is one of the key tissues in the plant that helps you to absorb the water and mineral from in the soil and of course you have the epidermis that's the outer part basically the skin of the root and that is used to basically protect the inner the internal parts of the root and of course we're going to see this word coming across a lot epidermis because it's located throughout the plant it's akin to human skin our skin or epidermal layer that's similar in plants so you have it from the root all the way up to the leaves now this is how the 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 root hairs would look under a microscope you see the very little root hairs here under the microscope root hairs tiny one celled hair like extensions of the epidermal cells located near the tip of the root increase surface area absorb water and minerals so they are they are they are an extension of the epidermis the root hairs are an extension of the epidermis and so we look at it here in the textbook you have a next depiction right here of the root but this one is for the die cut and you can see it's a cross section of the root and so we're gonna look at some tissues that are located in the root itself some more tissues i must add so internal parts of the root much like those of the stem with phloem and cambium and xylem layers so the root has what you call a phloem and the xylem the phloem and the xylem what is it what is the job of the phloem now the phloem in plants again you're going to see these words when looking at the stem and the leaf because the phloem and the xylem runs throughout the plant together they are called with the cambium they're called the vascular bundle or the vascular tissues and so the vascular tissue is made up of the phloem the xylem and you have the cambium so let's read this one here 
The internal structure of a young dicot root is made up of four types of tissues. The epidermis, this is a single layer of cell on the outside of the root that protects the young root and absorb water and minerals via the, of course, the root hairs. The cortex, this forms most of the young root tissue with many unspecialized unspec thin walled cells. You have the endodermis. This is a single layer of cells that control the movement of soluble materials between the cortex and the vascular tissue. And, and I just mentioned the vascular tissue. So the vascular tissue is, combina it combined, uh, is a combination of the xylem and the phloem. The xylem and the phloem. So the vascular tissue, this is a cylinder at the center of the root, which is made up of several different types of cells. The xylem, the phloem, and the pericycle. And so we're going to look at them right here. Now, what is the job of the phloem? The phloem, the outer layer, carries food down the plant. And so what we're here, see, okay, so let's just match these two. So the vascular tissue is the transportation system in the plants, the trans transportation system in the plant. This system is responsible for transporting water, minerals, and food all over the plant. Now, the phloem is the tissue responsible for food. The phloem carries food from the leaves when it is made from photosynthesis through all the rest of the plants, including the root. So the phloem takes the food from the leaf where it was manufactured and takes it to every other part of the plant. So it carries food down the plant. That's the job of the phloem. Now, the xylem, the inner layer, carries water and minerals up to the, up to the stem. So now, we remember, we said that the root here absorb water and minerals from the soil. Now, how does it get from the root all the way up to the leaves? That is the job of the xylem tissue. The xylem tissue takes water from the root, water and minerals from the root to all over the plant. The xylem tissue. So the phloem deals with food and the xylem deals with water. All right. So let's get, let's, so do not mix them up. That's how they are. The phloem is food, the xylem deals with water. So we have them here in the box in your text, textbook, xylem in the center of the root. So you can see the xylem right here, the green part in the center of the root, the xylem here in the center of the root. Transport water and mineral ions from the soil to the aerial parts of the plants, from underground all the way up to the leaves and everywhere. The phloem, on the other hand, group of cells formed between the protecting parts of the xylem transport soluble food substances from where they are made in the leaves to the roots. So the phloem takes the food from the tip of the, the leaves all the way down and throughout the whole plant. The persicle is a single narrow layer of cell just inside the, end, the endermis, endodermis, generates branches, branch roots and cambium tissue, which can produce more vascular tissues and the outer cock layer on older roots. All right, so that's it for, that's a, that's a quick look at the root, the internal structure of the root and the external structure of the root for the plant. And so let me, let's, let me take a look at, let's take a look at the xylem and the flame one more time. Right here we have a slide. This is, this is how the vascular bundle in a monocot stem would look under a microscope. All right, so you have the xylem tissue, you have the phloem tissue. Now, on the, um, the monocot and the dicot would have different looking vascular bundles based on the different parts, especially in the stem. This is the one. For, this is the stem for the monocot, and this is the stem for the dicot. But we haven't reached stems yet, so we're gonna look at that later on. Of course, now you can see here we have some examples of root crops. So we have a whole lot of them. We have some sweet potatoes. We have some carrots, some radish, some turnips. So we have a whole lot of examples of root crops if you do not know what they are. All right. So those are all. Some of them are used to store food for the plant. And of course, we humans would consume some of that food. So that's it for the root. And that's it for this video. Just a quick short look at the dicot root right here and the monocot. And so we look at the, the for the roots, we look at the types of roots, so the top fibrous, advantageous, and aerial. We look at the types of roots, the function of the roots, and we also look at some internal parts of the root. And so that's it for now. We are next going to look at the stem. We're going to move our way up. So we're going to look at the stem next, and then we look at the leaves and the fruit and the flowers, and we will go way up to the, the 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 shoot system all right so that's it for now thanks for watching 
Thanks for listening.